Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the post-screening discussion for She Had a Dream, the incredible film, She Had a Dream. What a treat, right? So now we are really in for a treat um, because the incredible director, Raja Amari, is going to be joining us, joining the Houston Cinema Arts Festival to talk about her amazing film. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Raja on so we can talk about She Had a Dream. Um, and yeah, so Raja, please join us. Hi. Hi, Hi, everyone. Raja. Hi. Hi, Jessica. And thank you for, for, yeah, for bringing She Had Dream to the festival and to the audience. And yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you today. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, for joining the Houston Cinema Arts Festival. We're so excited to share, you know, She Had a Dream with our audience in, in Houston and outside of Houston. And it's just, man, it is such a unique, singular, special, um, kind of quietly revolutionary, unprecedented film. I am a huge fan of this film for a number of reasons. Um, and yeah, I have you know um, questions for you and things that I'm curious about. And I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to talk to you directly about just this beautiful film. So, I mean, my first question is how did it happen? How did this film come together? How did you come into contact with your, you know, incredible subject? Um, you know, how did you um, meet Gofrain? You know, like how how did this all happen? How did this film come together? Um, actually, we were approaching the tenth university, uh, the anniversary of the revolution in Tunisia. The what we call the Arab Spring, and um, I was concerned about the situation, the political and social situation of women in Tunisia, 10 years after uh, what happened. And, um, and uh, yeah, I talked with the production society, Cine TV, about uh, this, they were very interested uh, about uh, stories of uh, Tunisian women. And yeah, this project uh, come from this, this discussion. And uh, I, when I, um, I started thinking about the project, I approached uh, the anti-racist association in empty which is a mm. very important association one of the first in the arab world mm. and uh, his um, and the amazing president of the association which we see in the film uh, sadia mosbah and she introduced mm -hmm. me to gofran and uh, my um, i was i was actually thinking about film about dreams and expectations of mm -hmm. women and mm -hmm. when i met gofran she was planning to marry and um and she uh, yeah she she i she was full of hope and and uh, uh she's charismatic and um, mm -hmm. so we uh, and she was also uh, okay to be filmed and it was important to me to um uh, film a black Tunisian woman because they are unseen in the media. Uh, they are forgotten. Uh, we never heard their voices. So, so uh, I started uh, thinking about this project. But when I uh, started filming, she told me that she's not marrying anymore, mm -hmm. and she uh, wanted to to uh, be involved in politics. So I. Um, I decided to follow her despite everything and I was excited but this new turn of the of situation. Sorry, I forgot my headphones. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, and what is she doing now? Oh, uh she's doing very well actually. She's um, she's uh, studying. She she's uh, still in the um, uh, law school. She's studying in law school nice. and she's doing very well. Yeah. Uh, she also she's also working with a lawyer while she's studying, 
and uh, she's uh, still involved in uh, several uh, uh, human rights associations, still active uh, with a feminist association. And yeah, she's full of energy and uh, yeah, yeah, still combative. Yeah, she's an incredible subject, right? I mean, you really found somebody just so amazing to follow. Um, and she is really charismatic. And at the same time, I felt that your film captured something and depicted something that I never see, very rarely see, in films from anywhere, from the US, from North Africa, from anywhere in the continent, anywhere. Um, although I think that's changing, um, just really showing the day-to-day -day life of a black woman in the world. <laughs> And a black woman, much you know, much less living in a working class neighborhood. And some of my favorite parts of the film were just her and her neighborhood interacting with her neighbors and the people in her community. And it, that was really clear, this kind of relationship that she had with her neighborhood. And at one point that guy saying like, she would help the worst criminal or whatever, she would help you know anybody. And you know, that she really did have this genuine, like of the people, thing going, um, that was amazing. But also, like I said, just really the, um, you know, day, just her, the documentation of her day-to-day -day life. And I just wanna thank you for that. I am so hungry for that as a black woman. I'm so hungry to see what it's like throughout the diaspora. Mm -hmm. And there's just so little of this. Although again, I think it is, there's more and more. And I think it's changing, you know, and I just, like, is that something that you were thinking about when you were making it? Is that something that other people have shared with you about the film? I'm just, yeah, wondering about that. Yeah, actually it was very uh, natural to be in her environment because when I started filming her, it wasn't uh, only the political subject, but it was her, her mm -hmm. life, uh, her uh, struggle, uh, this, uh, what she she's, uh, talking about in the film, those li small and big humiliation that she she's living uh, every day. And we were very, as a crew of the film, uh, warmly welcomed in her uh, neighborhood. Right. Uh, because everybody loves her. She's, uh, she's genuinely uh, involved in uh, the day-to-day -day lives of, of, uh, of um, of uh, all those marginal marginalized people, uh, young 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 people around her. Uh, so she's yeah, she's helping everyone. Born she's born trying. to lead, as one says. She yeah. was born to lead, basically. To, to, yeah, yeah. She was born and to be a leader, right? I to mean, be a leader and yeah, to, to, to try to uh, to to make their life better and uh, and. Uh, and uh, also she said that in the film that uh, she experienced the racism uh, with the elite, with, mm -hmm. uh, with the other uh, people who consider themselves uh, um, in a higher class society, but in her neighborhood, she, she didn't experience racism because they are all poor, they are all struggling and mm -hmm. they are very, uh, Solid, uh, there's solidarity between them, and she's yeah, she's um, she's yeah, a na natural <laughs> leader, and uh, she's yeah. always uh, yeah, looking for uh, for solutions for mm -hmm. everybody, and uh, and th this was very uh, beautiful to see and to film, uh, and to watch relationship and to yeah. and to witness and to watch and, as a viewer yeah. it was beautiful and, yeah yeah and also i i felt uh, uh, very quickly that she's uh, one of the rare people who who get outside of this neighborhood she's she interact about um, with the yeah. other people and she brings something else to to the others she's uh, uh, she discuss with them uh, about uh, their relationship with with others, she she give advices to to her to the her girlfriends and uh, and yeah she brings a, a new dynamic in uh, in this uh, neighborhood. 
And it's and it's layered because that's right the case with your film and you as a maker. In you know, in the case of the maker, right, and the subject, there's all this fluidity. You both have right, traverse these different worlds, you know, are, represent so much intersexuality, right? So many intersections. So it's so rich, your film is so rich because you're bringing that lens that you have and then you have the subject that reflects that. And it's just so powerful and rich and, and just really completely represents this idea of the personal is the political. Yeah. And I, exactly. I just wanted to talk to you about that. And if that was something that was on your mind you know, if you guys talked about that. Um, and again, it's just this, it's so amazing when there's this marriage of maker and subject in this way, because everything you're saying about her is reflected in you. And that all comes through. It's so rich. It's such a, such a rich piece of art for that reason. Yeah, actually Gofran embodies uh, a lot of things. She, she's, um, she she's uh, yeah she uh, she have with her her struggle uh, her uh, dreams and i wanted to be close to 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 this uh, to those emotions and um, and yes she was very open to share things uh, and um, of course yeah the political and the, 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 the intimate uh, are the same thing somehow because uh, she uh, as she said uh, in in the film yeah she she felt uh, humiliating by by the this uh, rejection and she wanted uh, to uh, to change uh, deeply her life through through politics she she think that uh, something could uh, yeah could really change so so she uh, she uh, she was uh, she threw herself uh, wholeheartedly in this uh, adventure and in this struggle and uh, she she didn't uh, yeah she spare herself and she was trying to con convince others because um, she think that she could bring through politics uh, new things to them, uh, brings what uh, what lack in this uh, in their life, and uh, to change uh, to change this uh, uh, their uh, conditions. So, so yeah, it was uh, something very important to her, and uh, it was important to show that because uh, she. Um, she belonged to this generation who grew up with this revolution and she uh, she believed in this in this change and uh, the film uh, will show the limit uh, that uh, the politics uh, put on this ambition that the patriarchy uh, uh, want to get back uh, its power and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, and Gofran was uh, trying to uh, go beyond the boundary, beyond that limits, and uh, this was uh, important to show uh, this uh, this dynamic. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, what she's embarking on is also it's very connected. I mean, it's it it really relies on storytelling, right? I mean, being politically. So that's interesting too. I mean, she's also in a way embarking on a storytelling journey. The most effective political figures are great storytellers. Yeah, she's, um, yeah, we have, uh, she had a goal uh, from the start. Uh, mm -hmm. She was uh, uh, running uh, for this uh, elections and uh, it was important to see the, um how she uh, how she she will uh, uh, um, uh, go in this journey uh, and uh, and how uh, things will uh, will turn out so um yeah it was also important to see how uh, the place of women in mm -hmm. this political process and uh, most of all black women coming from a very uh, from popular and uh, and uh, and uh, poor neighborhood, so the challenge was big, and she believed in uh, in uh, in herself, uh -huh. and we see this confidence, and uh, I think this is important to maybe to uh, 
bring that hopes to others to see how she struggle, how how she uh, she's uh, challenging things, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, it, it, for me, it's totally to set an example for others to 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 take their own destiny in their hand and say, okay, we we are going to to change things, and uh, yeah, the the, the women thought and still believe that they have a, a real uh, place in this process and we see how how they are pushed out mm -hmm. uh, from this uh, process and uh, and Gofran is still struggling to be in the center of a, of a, of a, yeah of what happens so so this is important to 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 see this struggle and this dynamic despite all the <laughs> All the difficulties, or or the, mm -hmm. or, the or what uh, um, uh, what has happened, uh, even if the political issue f for her is wasn't successful, but she succeeded. Uh, right. Otherwise. Yeah, and how it's not linear. How things don't always go. Yeah. You know, keep going in the you know more advanced direction exactly. and right in every society in every culture and i think your film is also i mean it's just it, again it's so layered and so rich because it's all right in the context of the shadow of the 10th anniversary you know of the arab spring as you know it's called in the west or the revolution as it's called in you know tunisia but then that's in conversation right with the black lives matter movement occupy wall street and all these other right exactly. so it's like uh, and the movement in hong kong and all these things are you know, in conversation with each other. Um, and yeah, it's just, that's really interesting too. And it's really important. I think it's really important for people because there are so many young people all over the world participating in these movements, you know, and the, and the movement, you know, for, uh, you know, um, you know, against the, you know, to fight the climate crisis. I mean, these are all movements, you know, um, that young people are, you know, um, assuming a lot of, a lot of leadership in, um, and yeah, I think it's just so incredible when people can see other people around the world having these, these experiences and dealing with these ups and downs, right? Um, yeah. Because it isn't all linear; it doesn't all kind of go in the right direction always. We it's a it's a continued struggle. Um, yeah, and she she also learned uh, 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 with these uh, failures. She 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 she. Uh, she turned this, those failure in a, in a force. And this is uh, where I think uh, she's, uh, she's interesting and I admire her because she, uh, she didn't just uh, get depressed and uh, abandon She's pragmatic, everything. right? Yeah, she's, she's pragmatic. She seems very pragmatic. I mean, I remember there was some conversation about her political party and it was based on like a very kind of prag, right? Kind of a pragmatic yeah. approach and argument and, but, so, I mean, but it's so, again, like the layer, then there's the lens, let's talk about you. <laughs> then there's like your lens, like you're a Tunisian woman, you're this amazing filmmaker who's done all these incredible films, you know, and like, and then you have the relationship, right, to the revolution in Tunisia. And I mean, so how, I guess my question is like, how did you kind of see things before you made this film? And did you see things differently after you made this film? Did did your experience and and also you're doing this really kind of intergenerationally, right? You guys are this is a kind of intergenerational you know process with with mm -hmm. your experience and her experience, right? But it's two Tunisian women at the end of the day, and that's like brings this whole you know level yeah. of richness to it um, and nuance and yeah, so. Yeah, actually, it was very interesting to me. Um, this experience was very interesting uh, for me because uh, I, uh, I I I made uh, fictional films before, and uh, and uh, I thought uh, I was thinking before doing this film that I have to do something with the real life. I I have the, this uh, uh, urgent need. To, to get uh, involved in the in the real life, so I uh, I started uh, working on this on this film and uh, and yes uh, I um, the the experience of Gofran allowed me to be in the heart of this process and to see the detail and I learned a lot 
uh, both about the situation in, in, in Tunisia and uh, how we can deal with uh, with all the, those difficulties, but also as a as a filmmaker, I learned to work differently, actually, because uh, mm. um, I, um, with with the documentary, uh, I uh, I worked with a very uh, small team, and we were very uh, uh, mob mobile, and we we, we uh, and I learned to adapt to the situation because uh, in uh, in documentary things change. Every yeah. time, uh, even the the journey of Gofran changed. There, there are a lot of events that change the the the, the dynamic of uh, of what's happening. So I I, uh, I learned to to yeah to to adapt, and it was interesting also to to work with her because at the beginning it was awkward for me and for her because I wasn't used to film uh, real people in their yeah. lives. <laughs> I was more used to, to film actresses yeah. and the different process. And also for her, she was uh, impressed by the team and the camera and the people following her every every time. Even, even though she's, uh, she's uh, used to selfies and uh, Facebook and uh, mm -hmm. uh, right. social media, but it's a very different process. So, sure. um, but the, 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 the trust was built uh, very quickly, actually, because she, she understood that I was here to hear her voice. Uh, I was here for her, for her struggle, for her experience. And, uh, and she opened up to us, to the team, to, to me, uh, very quickly and opened her home, uh, her neighborhood, and uh, and it was a very um, very uh, uh, pleasant to, to, to film her because we were in this relationship uh, of of trust, and um, and I, I actually filmed her because in my my precedent films I was always very close to. Women, because I I worked, uh, I always have uh, women characters, uh, and um, to shoot with close-ups, to be very uh, close to their emotions, to their dynamic, to to the causes they 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 are uh, uh, struggling for, and I um, it was the same approach. Actually, because uh, uh, I wanted to to follow her, not to follow the the situation of the country, but to follow it through her and to be very very close to her. Uh, so that's why I I filmed as I always film with the, with close ups, with the follow follow her in a very uh, tight uh, shots. And um, and yeah, yeah, it was very uh, very interesting. Yeah, you just you actually just answered like my next two questions. I mean, <laughs> I'm just wondering if she, she must have. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, she's yeah, she's really lucky because had she did she see your films um, before she did this and saw yeah. the way like film, in films like Red Sat and the way you do. I mean, your films really do like you know, honor women in this like incredibly profound way. So it must've been so exciting for her mm -hmm. to understand that she was in your hands as a subject. I mean. Yeah, actually she was wondering uh, how I will transpose my way of uh, yes. working to her, to her life. Makes, because yeah, she that thinks that she's very far from the Heroine, of, uh, the, the but she's not right. Actor of <laughs> no, yeah, she's but totally actually, a heroine. Yeah. yeah, she's a heroine in a. It's actually my favorite category of, of documentary. I don't even seen the film Time. I, I think Time mm. falls into this. Like yeah. I call them women's pictures, documentaries that are like basically women's pictures and follow these heroic. These are the Joan Coffords of our time. You know what I mean? These heroic real life women, and it's yeah. amazing. And she is like a heroine in a classic, yeah. ho ho like Hollywood movie, as far as I'm concerned, you know, like she's classic heroine, completely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I felt very quickly that she has this potential in her 
uh, with his, her charisma, with her beauty, uh, with her determination, and I um, I wanted to yeah to to bring this uh, uh, to the people to show because uh, um, I wanted. I wanted to sh to 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 show uh, a young woman today in the Arab world, which is not victim. She's she can uh, um, uh, struggle, fight, fight the other, fight uh, people who oppress her. And uh, I wanted to show this force, and she have it. Uh, the the instant I saw her, I felt this uh, this power in her. Um, yeah, so she uh, she saw the film actually. <laughs> uh, she she saw it and she was uh, very emotional. <laughs> I bet uh, uh, because yeah, she was very happy to to see actually the others <laughs> in the film, her neighborhood, mm. her family. Uh, she saw it with her family uh, and um, and yeah, she uh, she's very, she was very uh, uh, emotional and, uh, and I was very actually afraid because I didn't want her to have uh, frustrations because we we shot a lot, uh, and I have to make choices uh, in order to build the film. But uh, she was, uh, yeah, she she uh, she thought that it was uh, it was her. Yeah. <laughs> in the film, so uh, yeah, she, it was a very very uh, yeah emotional even for for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, How did her family? Because that was some of the more complicated scenes when she was visiting her family, like. How did they, do you know what they thought of it? Or I was, I'm wondering if they kind of saw her maybe a bit more fully. It seemed like maybe they weren't seeing her, which happens in any family. Yeah, I think her, her mother was very proud. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> very proud of her. Good, good. She, she was uh, also very emotional. And, I bet, yeah. Uh, and. Mm -hmm. uh, and she uh, she 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 encouraged her a lot to to be what she wanted to be. Yeah. She she's very supporting. Uh, there was also the the brother <laughs> and the the little sister. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they uh, they are very proud of her. And they were a little skeptical in the film, though sometimes, right? When they yeah, there was some skepticism. But that was more about the system. That's and that was so interesting. Like that was so, yeah. it was so rich the way like she would engage with so many people and it wasn't their skepticism wasn't about her exactly. it was about the system right it was yeah it, that it's so interesting it, yeah exactly they, they were uh very uh yes uh, skeptical and uh, and uh, they uh, they are afraid of her uh, for her but at totally. the same time they believe in her yes so yes um, i got that yeah but what i find beautiful in this family and neighborhood that they they talk their minds uh they uh they are very frank to each other mm -hmm. and this is very uh, very interesting and important for her even to 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 go uh, further to go beyond uh, right right uh, and uh and yes uh, the people are very disappointed by the system by the politics uh, but they believe in in her. They wanted to vote for her, but not for her party. <laughs> so this is, right. was was uh, was very uh, interesting to see because uh, they uh, the, the politics failed them. They they come in in comp when uh, there is a campaign to the this neighborhood, but as soon as the the campaign finish, they never see them anymore. They abandon them. Right. So they were very very. Uh, uh, disappointed, uh, but they believe in her uh, energy and in her will to bring something new to the to, to this uh, to, to to the neighborhood. So so yeah, it was. Uh, but also they they love her very much. So so they also support her because uh, they wanted her to uh, to to improve herself to 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 yeah to to be some to be uh, she she wanted to to be involved in in politics in uh, and to go uh, beyond the limits 
that uh, the society imposed to this neighborhood. She mm -hmm. she wanted to 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 go beyond this uh, this boundary. So uh, I felt, yeah, it was very uh, uh, emotional to see that to the, to see this love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it sounds like you know around the filmmaking piece, you were saying that now that you've done this film, this documentary, documentary and fiction films are completely different animals. I mean, is that the way you feel? And then my follow-up question is, are you going to make another documentary, do you think? <laughs> yeah, actually they, they are different, but uh, but there are a lot of uh, common, uh, common uh, things. I, I, I feel that the, uh, the emotion, the the movement of the character, the inner movement of uh, especially women woman character, reflect in both uh, genre actually in documentary, but in different way. And uh, with the, with the documentary, I felt uh, directly involved actually in, in, in what's happening. And also we were uh, uh, going through a campaign which was very uh, important in the history of the, of the country and, uh, and uh, to, to, to the destiny of people. So it was very, uh, very yeah, emotionally uh, uh, very uh, important to me too, to be involved also through her uh, in this process. So uh, um, yeah, I would say I will. Yeah, I uh, certainly will will do more, more documentaries. But but my next project actually is a fiction. <laughs> and uh, but I I think that uh, this documentary changed my way of, uh, of um, and my approach to cinema. How so? Because, because I wanted now to. Uh, to uh, shoot with uh, with light uh, uh, crew with a crew with a small crew uh, to uh, to be in movement, uh, mm -hmm. not to wait uh, years and years to have financing and mm -hmm. to uh, uh, to be um, somehow uh, inside the system, very uh, bit heavy system. Uh, I think it's more uh, it's uh, it's interesting to to yeah to to gather a crew and to go and film things uh, whether it's uh, fiction or or documentary but uh, but to force things and maybe this energy of Gofran is also reflected on me to to go and uh, and to uh, to to um, to bring things to 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 us uh, without waiting the, the others and uh, and to be in uh, in uh, in a system that uh, make us uh, how to say uh, um, yeah in uh, in a, in a static uh, in a static uh, position. Mm. I don't know if you. <laughs> yeah, if well, clear, I mean, but, uh, yeah, selfishly, yeah. that means that we'll get to see more movies from Raja Amari. So, oh, I, thank you. you know, very like, much. yeah, you know, selfishly, you. you know, I'm like, okay, that's great. Well, um, yeah, and speaking of uh, your movies and your incredible, your um, kind of one of your main leading ladies is now on the biggest TV show in America, Succession. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been following yes, that is. at all? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes That's quite a performance, yeah. huh? I mean, she's yeah. incredible in your films too, and but she's amazing on it. Yeah. She's very uh, present also in in uh, Arab cinema. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, of course. Uh, of in, course, uh, yes. In Succession and uh, in, yes. in, in, in uh, in um, in uh, American uh, uh, fictions and program, yes. but uh, she's also uh, very uh, involved and very uh, she's uh, defending also independent uh, Arab cinema, supporting mm. new talent, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, she's very uh, talented and very um, uh, how to say uh, she has a real. Uh, um, uh, engaging. She's the real deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the real deal. No, you. I mean, there's Succession. So lucky to have her. Like, whenever you could just see it in her perform. Like, she's clearly the real yeah. deal. 
<laughs> and all that strength is like, you know, just oozing off the screen. Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, is there anything that you could tell us about your upcoming project? Or if not, I just always like to ask that anything that, you know, or just like when we should look out for another mm -hmm. film from you or, and what's, and what's, what is, yeah, what's next for She Had a Dream? Like, what is it? Yeah, what's going, what's next for the film for She Had a Dream well, also? Uh, for the film, uh, we have, um, I'm, I'm going uh, in two days in Tunis to show the film in a, the biggest festival in Tunisia. Oh, it's called, amazing. Uh, it's, it's, um, uh, North African and yeah. African festival uh, called Carthage Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, I've heard and, of it, yeah. Um, and uh, it's very, amazing. very big in Tunisia, and it yeah. will be the oh, that's amazing the opportunity to show the movie uh, to the people of the neighborhood. Of, uh, this is the first time. It. This is happening. Uh, like, no, I I made oh. sm uh, uh, smaller small, things. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, um, Screen. This is big, the, and this is big. Yeah, oh, this, this is, is so big. Exciting. So, so oh. I'm very excited to to show it to all the people who were who who worked on the, the film, and yeah. also to to Tunisian audience because I think it's important to to uh, to bring this racism uh, issues to people yes. and to to talk about it because because it's really. Um, a taboo subject yeah and uh, we we are dealing with a lot of issues of, of racism and we yes. have a real problem with our africanity in tunisia and uh, i mean we are rooted in africa but uh, i yeah we have to to uh, to talk about this uh, this uh, issues and totally to, to, and to be um, open about it so yeah, with the support also with the anti-racist uh, association, and so I uh, I'm very excited about this uh, opportunity, and also the film will be uh, uh, broadcasted in Arte TV in France. Nice, nice. Uh, at the end of November, so yeah, it will be uh, uh, yeah to meet a larger audience this time. Oh, so, so exciting! Yeah, very happy. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Well, I predict you're, you know, you're going to be pleased with people's reactions, and you're going to get you. so I much. <laughs> I think so. I think you're going to get so much. I mean, it's just such an. And I also would say, I think your film is an incredible tool in, you know, um, the you know fight against racism, um, yeah, and you know anti-racist efforts. I think this is a really good example of art that, you know, can be a tool because it's such incredible storytelling and it's not polemical and it is about real people and it is about a real person and it is you know um yeah and polemical films too. are great too it's just this is a different this is really the personal is political. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with polemical things but this you know this is such a tool and i just want to thank you again um and, and i'm so excited yeah. that you're going to tunisia oh my god it's so exciting to show it to like a lot of people <laughs> yeah and th thank you for bringing the film to to a new audience. Yes, in, we're in very excited festival. for Houston so this to is see it and everybody that's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and um, yeah, this is an amazing opportunity for Houston and the region. Um, and thanks to Art Matan, the distributor, um, for bringing it to the US for sure. And um, and thank you, Raja Amari, for spending some time with me and talking thank about you. your incredible <laughs> film. And I can't wait thank to see you. what you do next and have an amazing time in Tunisia. Um, and good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Roger. Thank, Thank you. you for thanks, Thank thanks, you. audience. Bye. <laughs> Bye.